Yo, what is going on Guardians? It is Chris here from Spartan Jesters and today we're going to be talking about the House of Wolves and everything we know about it so far. Please note some of the things may change prior to the release date so make sure you do check back here to see if things are right or wrong and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. Without any further ado, let's get into it and start off with the story. Remember that cutscene from Destiny? You know, the one that was actually rememberable? Or memorable, whatever you want to call it, where your guardian visits those weird blue people in the reef, the Awoken, and you meet their queen, who offers you help in exchange for taking down a gate lord, which was completely unneeded, come to think of it. Anyway, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. When you're in the throne room, you notice there's a bunch of fallen part of her army, which she controlled many years ago from some sort of fight. When you suggest that her fallen are too well to be potty trained or house trained, she scoffs and relished her position of power. In the House of Wolves, she's not scoffing anymore. Just prior to the story's beginning, the fallen serving the Queen have revolted, killing hundreds of Awoken in a successful bid for freedom. Being a not exactly forgiving kind, the Queen wants them all dead, and she enlists the help of us guardians to hunt them all down. The content, the main story introduced above, consists of three missions. The first, Pack of Wolves, takes place in the Cosmodrone on Earth, the second and third, Tracky Quarry, and the fourth, Path of a Traitor, are set on Venus, Ishtar Sink. The DLC has one new raid, it is set in a brand new location and it is called the Arena, and it takes place somewhere in the Reef. When you notice the Reef, it has this circular kind of orbity thing, it's going to be in the centre of that, where the bungee symbol is. House of Wolves includes one new strike, the game mode that many people consider to be a marquee from Feature of Destiny. This one, like the one in the dark below, set somewhere in the moon's oceans of storm, is called Belly of the Beast. There's also a new strike playlist for 28 players, level 28 players, and above called Vanguard Dragon. The Crucible is getting some love in the form of four new maps. They are Black Shield at Firebase Thoroya on Phobos, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, the Timekeeper at Meridian Bay on Mars, Thieves Den at the Ishtar Sink on Venus, and Widow's Court at the European Dead Zone on Earth. The European Dead Zone on Earth is a new location that we haven't actually seen, maybe it is something they will implement on Earth in future expansions. A trio of new locations will be opened up for exploration and play. Dusk Warren and Trader's Catch, both on the Moon's Ocean of Storms, and the Terminus at Venus's Ishtar Sink. House of Wolves may debut the first new social hub for players aside from the tower. A leaked screenshot indicates the presence of a new social area, located in the reef, where players can interact in a non-violent environment and shop for weapons, gear and upgrades. It would make sense since the reef is where House of Wolves begins, perhaps the Queen opens up her personal stores and supplies for guardians to buy and sell to aid in their quest. In terms of weapons and gear, Bungie claims the House of Wolves will bring hundreds of new weapons, armor and gear. Most of the leak information comes from a Reddit user calling himself MegamanExe4. In addition to this data, he also leaks a ton of screenshots of weapons and armor that the House of Wolves will bring to the table. English is not his forte, so his screenshots appear to be taken from the Chinese version of the game. Don't bother looking for names, but you can get some kind of idea what the new gear will be like, including some stats. The screens mostly show off new Vanguard armor and weapons. No idea on exotics or other legendaries that can drop from enemies. In other PvP news, House of Wolves is bringing Destiny players a whole new hardcore style gameplay mode called Inferno. Inferno is all about leveling the playing field. It's a form of play where your radar, bonuses and super moves are gone. It's all simple. It appears to be about seeing how players, you know, testing their skills and how good they are. Even when your unique advantages are taken away, Inferno flavors come in three distinct submodes: Inferno Clash, Control and Salvage. The leaked information suggests that Salvage is the only mode exclusive to House of Wolves. The others will arrive sooner or part of a regular update. For leveling news, the ultimate Destiny status symbol is your level. Loved, despised and debated by every guardian you can think of. They were given a makeover in the deep below or the dark below, whatever you want to call it, that didn't sit very well with long time players, going to 32. 
It looks like Bungie is trying to make up for that in the House of Wolves. The last DLC raised the level cap only 2 points to 32. House of Wolves will let players max out a whopping 7 points higher at level 39. In terms of the release date, House of Wolves was scheduled in March, but Bungie has postponed its arrival until the horribly vague window up between April 1st and June 30th. Mega Man EXE 4 speculated that the actual release date is the 19th of May 2015, but it's unknown what he's basing this estimate on, as he hasn't given us much information on how he's getting all this information. Anyway guys, that's all the information we have for the House of Wolves expansion pack. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. This has been Chris from Spartan Investors, hoping you have an amazing week, weekend, month, year, and lifespan. And I'll see you on the Playfield Guardians. Thanks for watching.